Yes, we're going to talk about movies a little bit. Not all theaters are open. Cleveland cinemas are open. Atlas theaters are open. You can check the newspaper to see what other ones are open. And why would you go to a theater now? Well, they've got some nice spacing. They have it very safe. And I think one of the best movies of the year is opening this Friday. It stars Kevin Costner. I think there's going to be some Academy Award nominations in this film. I got a chance to talk to Kevin. But first, I want you to see a little bit of Let Him Go. We came to see our grandson. My boy doesn't have to answer to you. And we don't have to answer to you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Diane Lane teams up with Kevin Costner to save their grandson from an evil, abusive situation. Let Him Go is an unlikely thriller that won't let you go. Come with us. No. He'd kill me. Him and his mother. Hello, Kevin Costner. How are you today? I'm good, David. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm telling you something. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I mean, this is, it puts you on the edge of your seat and keeps you there. Let Him Go really caught me early. And um, it seemed like a simple movie, but what happened was the impending dread started to build up as a man who loves his wife so much and is willing to go along with her in a, in a situation that he knows they should not be doing. Yeah. And it's an honest movie that way. This is one of those movies, if you're watching it in a theater, people would be guilty of talking back to the screen because it's got that much, that much thriller in it, don't you think? Well, it, it sneaks up on you in a very authentic way. It's not a, it doesn't start off as a scary movie in a haunted house. You feel the dread and it's everywhere they go. It, the story doesn't get better. I mean, it, it draws you in more, but the deeper you go, you're saying, no, stop. Yeah. And you want her to stop. But that's what makes it beautiful. Yeah. The other thing I don't want you to stop is Yellowstone. I got to tell you something. We, we do the show and we talk about Yellowstone during the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sitting here in Montana right now, right where we shoot it. Those are the Bitterroot Mountains behind me. Yeah, I tell you, man, you fit in there just, just perfect. Hey, you know, I was thinking about first time I saw you was No Way Out in Washington, D.C. a long time ago. And uh, back then, I'm sure you had a, had a dream, and now you have a reality. So how, how, how did the reality and the dream differ as you, you think back to those days and you're sitting right there in Montana right now? It's, it's been a journey, and, but it's been propped up by the choice of movies I've tried to make and what I try to bring to an audience. And, and uh, Let Him Go has the same pedigree that No Way Out had a long time ago, which was it just felt fresh, it felt new. Um, and it and it just it was it was interesting. Well, thank you very much. Great to see it, and I look forward to seeing you at Brothers Lounge once again soon. I hope it was fun. I I, I loved how the club treated me, and my friends in Cleveland were, were there. You know, uh, you know, Mike Bolin, Mike Shields, uh, some expatriates, Greg Avalone and Paul Sarosi. I, I love Cleveland, especially making that movie there, Draft Day. Uh, that city just was great. I mean, I just love the way it's set up. Thank you very much, man. Great to see you. Let somebody else in here now. Adios, amigo. Thank you. Don't start what you can't finish. Really good movie. And I remember I first met Kevin, they were saying that like, he could be a Gary Cooper kind of guy someday. And thinking about that like 25 years, 30 years ago, it sounds crazy, but you see his, his body of work now and he has really become one of those fantastic, solid actors. And I tell you, this is a great film. See it at the theaters if you can. And you know, later on when it goes online, make sure you, you see it because it's definitely one of the good ones this year. Terrific. And Cleveland Cinemas, that's uh, the Cedar Lee and Shaker. They have it. Atlas Theaters out on the east side also. So you can still see it in theaters. That opens tomorrow.